Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning into what is a fashion video? Yes, we still do those, just not very often. In fact, like almost a year ago is when I did the last one. I just, I'll get better, I promise. But today I wanna do an unboxing and try on of a Nordstrom Trunk Club. Yes, this is actually still happening during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I have made some purchases like separate from this within the sale in case you wanna see a video of like my top things purchased or something. Uh, but I was compelled to do a trunk club because with trunk club where someone else, your stylist picks things for you that you wouldn't necessarily pick for yourself, even though you, you go through your style profile and if you've done a trunk with them before, they generally have an idea of what you like. Sometimes they surprise you with pieces that you wouldn't have thought to look for or hadn't found yourself. And that is exactly what happened this time around. I am really pleased with some pieces that even though I had been scouring the Nordstrom website because I was, you know, had my eye on a lot of the anniversary sale deals, still hadn't found any of these. So I'm pretty excited today to show you everything that I have, talk through what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I wanna start with shoes because you are gonna see every outfit I wear with these because these are the only pair of shoes I got, but also because they're so cute and I'm keeping them. These are from Steve Madden, size 10, and they are a platform sandal with a little bit of a heel over here, some white foam here on the base, cork for most of the base, and then each of these straps is elastic. So they're incredibly comfortable on your foot. They are a little bit tricky to get on because this ankle strap, while also elastic, you know, it's just, it kind of makes it for, it's a little bit of a ropes course to get your foot into it, but once it's there, it is so stinking comfortable and it adds just a little bit of extra length to the leg, which is what I'm always looking for in a sandal. Part of my struggle with sandals is, especially wearing with jeans and like skinny jeans, they can tend to cut off my legs, making them look shorter than they are. And so when you have a nice kind of platform, but that's not too high, just like comfortably high platform sandal like this, it just extends the look of the leg. and. Like I said, they're super comfortable, so these are gonna be great for like walking all over in. And even though we're, you know, mentally we're going into fall, I live in Texas, and so actual fall weather is probably still a ways away. I'm still gonna get a ton of time to wear these. And while we're talking about things that I love and I'm definitely keeping, let's go ahead and talk about this jumpsuit, which is probably my favorite item in this box. And guys, I finally found a jumpsuit. I had struggled with proportions, like the length of my torso, plus the hips and the waist and all that kind of, something that fit just right. And I not only have one, but spoiler alert, I found two in this box that I'm keeping. So the first one that I knew right off the bat I was definitely gonna keep is from Treasure and Bond. It is a size large and it's this beautiful, that's actually the back, this beautiful burnt orange color with a spaghetti strap that are adjustable. So you can, you have a little bit of adjustability with that. There's also a stretchy panel in the back, which helps if like me, you struggle with finding a jumpsuit that kind of matches your proportions. There are a couple little built-in things with jumps, this jumpsuit that allow you to play with it without having to alter it or anything like that. It also has a square neckline, which I love. I find it super flattering and it's a cropped leg, which I've kind of been getting into. I used to absolutely hate crop legs. If my pants didn't go all the way down to my ankles, I felt like they were cutting me off too much. But especially, I think you'll see with these platform sandals, I, I just worry less about it. Like I'm, I think they do a fine job at like elongating my leg and, and everything like that. So I really love the cut and just silhouette of this whole thing. I will say um, because it has those certain mechanisms like the stretchy back and the spaghetti straps and the fabric itself has some give to it. Like it's one of those that the more you wear it throughout the day, it does kind of loosen up on you. I was a little concerned that maybe I should have gone for a medium instead of a large, but it's really roomy and very comfortable. And so I think I would rather have it be a little bit bigger so I can wear it bigger and more comfy or change it up and put like a belt around the waist if I really wanna cinch in my waist or wear a jacket over top if I wanna add structure and maybe bring it a little bit more that way. Find other ways to make it look and feel a little bit more fitted instead of going a size down, which might be a little bit too small, especially in those areas that I tend to need a little bit more give in like my butt and hips, which, tends to be where I run into trouble with my jumpsuit. So really happy with this, the size, the proportions, everything. Let's talk about the other jumpsuit. This one is from Theory. It is also a large and it must be part of the anniversary sale because it is marked 60% off. And granted, I don't think I would have purchased this full price because it is quite a bit outside my budget, but 
at the discount that it's at and the, for the quality, like it's a piece that once you see it, I know I'm going to be able to dress up, dress down, wear every which way because the color, the cut, the silhouette, everything about it is so timeless and classic. So the top is a strap with like a rounded square neck. It's also a very stretchy top. So again, you don't have to worry about these fixed proportions where it might be too long or too short in the torso. There's a lot of give in this top. Then the bottoms are these gorgeous wide-legged pants. They're a little long if I wanna wear them with a flat, but they're like the perfect length if I pair them with my uh, sandals that I got, my Steve Madden sandals that I just talked about. So it's a little bit more fitted on the top because it has that stretch and then it balances out with those wide-legged pants and it just creates this I love the proportions that this has. And again, you can see you can easily wear this for like a, a, a night out, fancy, formal, whatever, what have you, because it's, you know, classic black, really beautiful textures and fabrics. But you can also throw a denim jacket and some sandals with it and wear it to brunch or out shopping or wherever you want to. I just... I think it's gonna be, even though it's on the more expensive side for things I typically like to get in my trunk, I just think it is gonna get the most wear out of maybe anything. Okay, unfortunately, not everything is a keeper. These jeans I am not gonna be keeping. And it's surprising because they're from Good American, which for me normally is a brand that can do no wrong. These are distressed jeans. You can see they have like distressed details here and holes in the knees. I was actually really looking for a casual pair of distressed jeans like this. I ordered some from the anniversary sale that I also ended up returning because they just didn't fit right. These, again, had high hopes because they were good American. They're a size 14 and depending on in good American, how high the waist is, how much stretch there is in the jean, I'm between a 12 and a 14. I thought I'd be safe here because it's on, it's sized up. Unfortunately, it's, it's still pretty tight. And although there is a good amount of stretch in these jeans, where the ripped portion of the knee hits, it, it's still way too tight. And instead of looking like it's a cutout hole in the knee, it just looks like my skin is bulging out of it, especially because it's where that joint is. Like my knee just like pops it. It looks weird. Let me just tell you, you're not gonna see a video of me in these because one, they were a little too tight. Two, the places that they fit, they just look weird. So I think the conclusion that I'm drawing from this is if I want ripped jeans, they have to be non-stretch because pulling that ripped fabric too close to my skin, it just makes your skin pop and bulge out in weird places. So I need to find maybe jeans with a higher cotton count or like a boyfriend style jeans that don't cling to my thighs as much. Let me know down below if you tend to have more full thighs and butt, but have a pair of ripped jeans that you love. Let me know what brand and how the sizing works down in the comments below. Now let's talk about some jeans that I'm actually undecided on. Really the only item of clothing I am undecided on here. These are from Topshop and they have a paper bag waist. They are this light washed black fade and they ha they're have they cropped at the ankle, but they have a paper bag waist, a super interesting sort of angle around the button. And then they also come with a denim belt. I just think it's a super unique cut around the waist, which is what draws me to them. But I'm not entirely sure this wash and like the pockets on the back are as flattering as other jeans that I have. So maybe I'll look and see if they have other washes in this style because that's the one thing I'm just not totally sold on is if these are as flattering as maybe a darker blue wash of denim might be on me. But besides that, I love the fit. I love the cut. They are a high cotton count, so there's not a whole lot of stretch in these. I mean, obviously more as you wear them super long term, but when you when I first put these on, I, they were borderline like not fitting, but then they fit once I got them all the way on, they fit like a glove and especially in the waist area, which is key for me because these aren't super high-waisted. Sometimes there can be a gap in the back and not only was there not a gap, but even if there was, they come with that denim belt, although you could obviously put your own belt with them as well. Next are some shorts and these are definite winners too, which I'm so, shorts are such a pain point for me. So I always, always just feel so elated when I find a pair that works for me. But these are called, they're like called bubble, um, bubble something shorts, I think. Either way, they have pleats up here at the top. My first pair of pleated shorts, well, at least in adulthood, I'm sure I had them as a kid and hated them, but you know, style comes back around and now I love them. And, and they also have cuffs at the bottom here too. Nice big pockets in the back and the length. The length is also key. They hit at a really good place on my thigh. Now, the one thing is these are cut to where they could be high-waisted. Like the crotch is low enough to where I could pull these up, but I would have to belt them at my waist because the way the waist 
uh, the diameter of the waist as it stands is a little too wide to fit naturally at my waist. There's some gapping there if I do. They currently fall right around my hips which I don't mind the length of, but in terms of where I like to wear my shirts, like if I wanna knot them up at all, um, then I might need to get a belt and, and hike these pants up a little bit more, but you definitely have room to do that in the crotch. And when you do, the length isn't too short at all, I don't think. You still have a lot of length to play with in the leg area without feeling like they might be you know, too short or uncomfortable. Um, another thing that I really love in my shorts is width in the leg. They don't cling to your leg so much. You have a lot of nice room to, to move around in these. They're comfortable because of that. So yeah, really love these. And similar to what I did with those mom shorts, I will probably go see if they have other colors and p patterns in this because they're such a good fit. Now let's talk about the two shirts that came in this trunk. I gotta be honest, I was not excited about these when I first saw them in my trunk. I thought I have stuff that's super similar or the pattern's not appealing to me. Like I, I know I'm just gonna send these back but I'm not sending them back. The first one is this really fun print. It's from Daydreamer. It's part of their rock and roll collection. Um, and so of course, it has the lips, but with a leopard tongue. And this tongue is a burnt velvet texture. So you got patterns, you got textures. It's a very striking graphic on the front. And the t-shirt itself, it's like a tissue tee. So it's a little bit sheer, but because the pattern hits right here, I don't feel like I need to wear anything underneath of it. But so it it keeps feeling super lightweight and it's also pretty long, long enough to where you could knot it. You can also leave it out if you would like to, but you can also tuck it in. Like it offers a little bit of room and versatility to do that, which I always love in a shirt. The same can be said for the next shirt that I got, which I, of the two, I thought this was definitely gonna be one I didn't like but I actually love it and probably will look for more colors. This is from the brand We The Free. And beyond just being like a loose fitting t-shirt, it has some fun details in it that like your average everyday basic tee doesn't have. Like this bunching in the shoulder area, as well as this droopy slouchy sort of breast pocket. And then it does have, what's the word? Sort of like elong an elongated panel in the front and the back. So it's cut up in the waist. Maybe that's better way to explain it. You'll be able to see. So it gives you that extra length if you prefer it in the front or the back, but like I just mentioned loving in my t-shirts, it also gives you enough room to knot it if you would like to. So um, I love the way this looks, love the loose kind of flowy vibe that it has as it kind of lays over me. And so I will definitely be keeping it just kind of, I feel like it gives my basic everyday t-shirt sort of aesthetic a, a bump up, kind of just takes it to that next level, if you know what I mean. Okay, last up is a dress, and this was a close call, but I do think I am going to send it back. This is from the brand French Connection, and it's a really beautiful romantic, like it has uh, kind of stretchiness around the top, so it's very flattering and comfortable up here, but then falls straight around the rest of the body till about mid-calf, and then there's a, a nice slit to give it a little bit of movement and detail, and then these nice romantic sleeves that you can either wear up, kind of poofy, give you a square neck, or totally off the shoulder, but I just ran into some proportion issues with this. It's a size 12, and so maybe sizing down would help, uh, but I just found that the sleeves wouldn't stay up when I would wear it, and I don't always wanna wear the sleeves down with this. And likewise, whereas the top was a good fit, in part, I'm sure, because it like cinches in around the chest, it kind of fell a little big around my a a waist area, which I know I could totally belt, but this is definitely a dress that I would totally feel comfortable comfortable wearing solo because it's a pretty pattern. You don't need like a belt or a jacket or accessories, I don't think at all. Um, but I don't feel like I could do that with the current sizing as it is. So maybe I should look at a different size because I really do like the dress. I like the idea of this dress, but maybe that's the, the issue is the size. I don't know. Okay, maybe I am still wishy-washy on this. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, the only other things I got that I am not keeping and haven't opened some of them and not gonna try others on for you are two bras. This one, which was not flattering at all. It lacked support. And so it kind of created this weird boob shape situation that just I knew it wasn't gonna flatter me. The other one that I got was nice enough, but it wasn't anything special to replace the bras that I have. I just, I really need to replace the, the bras that I have and it wasn't any better than those. So I'm just gonna kind of keep searching. Um, I got a yellow bandana because I don't know who I thought I was when I was ordering this trunk, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna experiment 
with an accessory like a bandana or a scarf. And I don't, I don't think that's me. If it is, I don't think I'm ready to be that person yet. So I haven't even opened that bandana. I'm just gonna send it back. And last up are some sunglasses. They sent me some really beautiful looking key sunglasses. But again, um, I, I not only had a pair of sunglasses before that I was loving for all this, but I also recently ordered some of Desi's new sunglasses. So I definitely, do not need a another pair of sunglasses. So those are also unopened and I will be sending back, although they are super cute. And from what I can feel just in the bag they're in, they feel nice and weighty and well-made and for what it's worth, they, they seem like they'd be nice, but I just, I won't be keeping them. So that is everything that I got in my trunk club. Let me know what you guys think, what you think I should keep, should send back, if any of it. And, and let me know again, with the destroyed distressed jeans, let me know your tips on that. Sizing, brands, anything like that down in the comments below. And of course, like I mentioned before, if you wanna see more of these fashion videos, specifically uh, just the one I have kind of kicking around in my head currently is like a best of Nordstrom haul. Let me know that down in the comments section as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.